my fellow creative spirits. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on this piece that I am going to be working on. Uh, I've been inspired recently by a few different uh, TV shows and films, one being Chernobyl that's about the nuclear reactor incident. The other movie being Annihilation, which is a science fiction film depicting um, some sort of irradiated area that is very mysterious that is causing a whole bunch of problems. Uh, but I'm not going to go so much into the shows. I think that you guys should definitely watch them if this is a topic that you're interested in. I just want to talk about a few things that I found from actual real life that is very interesting about radiation. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of research when doing this piece because I thought it would be fun to relay some of this information to you guys because I find it to be fascinating. Um, essentially what radiation is, it is a form of energy and it has a lot of amazing applications in technology such as fueling cities and also treating things like cancer. But when it goes wrong, it has the ability to go very, very wrong. In Brazil, there was an abandoned hospital where some curious spectators decided to go in and they found this mysterious object that we now know was a radiotherapy machine that was abandoned. They took it home and cracked it open to find a beautiful blue radiant substance emanating from the core of this object. They decided to have friends and family over to take a look at it. They thought it was almost paranormal because of how it glowed. Little did they know that they were dosing themselves with deadly amounts of the radiation. With one woman even going so far as rubbing the radiation, the blue substance onto her body and showing everyone how it would glow. Little did she know that was a fatal dose and within days they were showing up in hospitals thinking that they ate something bad because of the symptoms that were appearing. When people found out about the device, scientists came in and found out what it was, began testing everyone around and found that 250 people were contaminated with radiation in this area. In another incident in Japan, there was a nuclear incident at the Tokai Mura, and I'm sorry if I butcher this, the Tokai Mura facility, a nuclear power plant where newly trained or barely trained workers had unfortunately caused um, a bright blue flash, which was a fission reaction that created intense gamma and neutron radiation. This dosed the people who were involved with deadly amounts of radiation. Uh, shortly thereafter, they had a myriad of symptoms such as intense nausea, vomiting, pain, difficulty breathing. Shortly thereafter, because their DNA was so destroyed, their skin began to just fall off of their bodies. Those radiation burns began to surface and their body was losing so much fluids every day that they couldn't keep up with it. They actually ended up surviving for over a month um, despite this radiation exposure. But it just goes to show how scary the substance can be when it goes wrong. So why would we mess with such a finicky type of energy source? Upon research, when it's done right, it is actually amazing. It has revolutionized medicine um, for example, because of radiation therapy, prostate cancer that is localized has a 98.85 year survival rate. It also has amazing applications with energy. It is one of the cleanest sources of energy and it's very efficient at creating energy. But yet we see these different things that are happening such as the 2011 Fukushima incident that has had very costly implications. We see more and more people shying away from nuclear energy. And another thing to consider is that nuclear energy has this byproduct that's called nuclear waste, and we are facing an issue with disposing of this nuclear waste. Because of climate change, we are having 
oceans that are steadily rising, and because of that, they are threatening a lot of the nuclear waste sites with a large dome that's located in the middle of the ocean, constantly being threatened. A lot of these disposal sites are meant to be temporary, and until we find a permanent solution for disposing of them, we face potentially having them leak out and create a myriad of problems for humanity. Actually, interestingly, they have found a spot in Europe that is virtually free of any type of natural disasters. That they are looking to put this nuclear waste deep inside of this area. They have come up with the potential issue of curious、uh, future civilizations coming across this mysterious waste site and wanting to open up. A Pandora's box, if you will. Scientists have looked to warn these future civilizations by putting a warning in different languages, in the hopes that one of these languages will survive long enough that they will be able to be warned of opening, and what would happen if they did open this device. Radiation is extremely fascinating, and again, I am not a scientist by any means. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the inspirations behind this piece as much as I enjoyed researching the topic and creating something that is based around this. So that is essentially what my polymer clay sculpture is about. I use Super Sculpey Living Doll for people asking what exactly it is that I use. That's what I use. I'm hoping to do a tutorial in the future where I show you my process and kind of like do a tutorial. This is still fairly new to me, but、um, with the with my last polymer clay sculpture, I saw a lot of questions about how I do it. So I am having that in the works very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you maybe learned something from it. I actually made a short playlist,、uh, which is in the description, if you are interested in learning more about radiation、um, as far as the energy aspect of it and the whole idea of clean energy. I'll pass a question off to you guys. What is something maybe in Science that you find to be very interesting that you would like to be turned into a sculpture. I would love to do more research on any topic really,、uh, and and create a piece centered around it. And it can even be based off of a science fiction movie because I find those to be equally as stunning and beautiful and inspiring. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to keep up with. My works in progress. I post them on my Instagram at Shoemaker Art. So please feel free to follow me on there. If you liked video videos like this, please do subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.